Here's voluntary work by a band of de Havilland experts led by John Wimpenny, chairman of the Hatfield Manpowered Aircraft Club, and Puffin was ready to fly. That is, they hoped she would. Anyway, John was willing to have a go, confident that vigorous pedalling would get Puffin airborne. He only weighs 110 pounds, despite the 80-foot wingspan. Puffin's no backyard hookup. There's a lot of de Havilland resources behind it, and a lot depends on it. The machine will compete for the prize of 5,000 pounds for the first man-powered mile flight in a figure of eight. Soon after Wimpenny set out, he exceeded the expectations of everybody not in the know by flying for half a mile. He points out that he's not an athlete. A first-class cyclist could probably have lasted a mile with ease. Somebody at the pedals of Puffin looks a good bet for that 5,000 pounds.